a race to say thank you. Hula hooping one, two, three. Outdoors, indoors, look at me. <laughs> and what has Bo got? Watch him get the perfect shot. You're really good at making up rhymes, though. Ooh, I bet you can't make one about, um, doing good deeds. Hmm. Do, 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 hey, hey, hey. Let's do something nice today. Zo, it's time to go in. Your dad prepared lunch for us. Just a sec. I'll be in soon. Gotta think of a rhyme first. Do, 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 hey, hey, hey. Let's do something nice today. Hmm. Is what I've written enough? Writing about good deeds is tough. Maybe just, I think, let's go and... Oh! <sighs> Good deeds. <sighs> something, something. <sighs> it's too heavy for me. Hooray! <laughs> I did it! Doing good deeds is nice. Do it now and don't think twice. Oh, hey there, Michael. Oh, a seat, thank you. Oh, I forgot it's lunchtime. Cool, Zoe. That was a nice thing you did for me. Letting me sit on your stump? You must have noticed how tired I was. I can't thank you enough. Wait, where'd she go? Maybe she didn't stick around to hear me say thank you. I need to go find her so I can thank her properly. Oh, and give her a strawberry. She likes those. Do, do, do. And now I can say thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Is Zoe home now? I'm afraid you just missed her. She went to Nick's house. Let me give you a hand, sir. My dearest Zoe, I would just like to thank you sincerely. You are truly the kindest of cows. <laughs> hey, you. Have we met before? <laughs> Dear, you're too funny. Oh, is Zoe back yet? She was here for a moment, but left again. I think she went down to the pond for a swimming class. You'll find her there. I'd like to sincerely thank you for all your help today, Michael. <laughs> Be there soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. <sighs> so, thank you. Oh, hey, Michael. You here to swim? Actually, I'm looking for Zoe. Is she here? She's underwater right now. <laughs> There's a snorkel. Why don't you join us? In a bit. I just need to practice some more first. Oh, dearest Zoe, I was tired and you let me sit on your stump and stuff. Thanks a lot. They finished their class a while ago. They left. They're over there, by that hill. <clears throat> My dearest Zoe, thank you for what you did. I was walking very far to bring you these. <clears throat> hey, you guys. Is Zo nearby? Not here. She just ran home to get a hula hoop. <gasps> Wanna help us make the biggest soap bubble you've ever seen? After I find Zo. Sincerely, 
I mean, thank... Woo! I think I ran out of thanks. Uh, what's going on? I have to say thank you. What for? For the stump. You let me sit on it. Oh, wow. You don't need to thank me for that. But I did write a poem here. Can I tell it to you? Doing good deeds is nice. Do it now and don't think twice. Thanks to this old stump again, I heard thank you from a friend. That poem was so good. Uh, should I say thank you for that too? Huh? Don't worry about it. You want to go blow bubbles with Makar and Lizzie? Looks like fun to me. Hooray! Let's race there! Hup. Trouble for Timmy. <laughs> so, Bo, what's up? Come see. He's a bear who says his name. Look! Ooh, neat. Snowy, Angela, hi, Timmy. Nice to meet you. You're the coolest bear ever. Do you think Timmy might be hungry? Yeah, we should probably get Timmy some bear food. Uh-huh. How about some cereal for you? Oh, my. <laughs> Good boy, Timmy. Now Timmy wants to turn on the swings. <laughs> ha! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, check it out, guys. That tree is walking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's this huge thing? This here is our brand new orange tree. Gonna bring it over to our house. Ooh. How neat! A real life orange tree! <laughs> Am I allowed to eat an orange right now? Sure thing. Though we should probably wash it off first. Uh huh. <laughs> Help me bring it home. <laughs> Come back! We <laughs> forgot Timmy! So, have you two finished all your homework? Not yet! Uh, just a sec! Oh. Uh... <sighs> Should we leave him alone out here? No, he'll get all wet. We should take him back home with us and give him back later. Good idea. <laughs> there, carefully. <laughs> all aboard the bear train. Magic Express. Chugga, 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 chugga. Do -do. Let's go, friend. Time to get you back to Angela and Snowy. Hey! Not yet. I'll give it back. No, me! Hmm. How can we return him now? There must be a way to fix him. Oh! Nice. <gasps> so this isn't working. Now Angela and Snowy are never going to play with us ever again. What would happen if we just didn't tell them that we brought Timmy home with us? Uh -huh. Hmm. Um. Uh-huh. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. What are you doing over here? Yoga. Would you like to try? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. That was fun. Okay, see you later. Any time. <laughs> Zo, Bo, any chance you guys have seen Timmy? Uh, uh look, he's right there. <laughs> A bear! Ah, <gasps> uh. uh, somebody must have come along and ripped off his hat after we left him out here. <gasps> And he's stained with modeling clay, too. You think it's because they tried to fix him? 
They only made him look worse. <gasps> Does he want a new hat from a leaf? He doesn't. Plus, it's got worms in it. How about a helmet for him? Now he's like a knight. No, thanks. That's not really his personality. Hmm. Poor Timmy used to be cute, and now this. Yeah, we should have never left him all alone outside. <sighs> it's our fault this happened. What? We tried to save him from the rain, but then we tore his hat off. We're sorry, guys. And the clay was also us. We didn't want to tell you about it. Huh? We know that you probably don't want to be friends with us now. So, Bo, don't worry about that. We'll always be great friends no matter what. And actually, Timmy says a helmet looks pretty cool too. <laughs> hmm, there must be a way to solve this. Miss Sheep! Can we have some thread? Why, yes, of course. I always have some with me. This is such a great idea. I know, he totally likes it. Timmy looks the most handsome he's ever looked. And a hat to top it off. <laughs> you rock! A new winter game. Grandpa, can we play hockey now? Of course you can, Nick. Just finish sweeping it off. Be careful, have fun. Thank you. Game time. <laughs> Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Gray. How come you don't have your hockey sticks? How are we going to play a game? We thought instead we'd try figure Woo! skating. <laughs> That's all fine and stuff, but hockey comes first. Wait a sec. We got here the same time as you guys. Why can't we have the ice rink first? This ice is here to stay. Everyone will have plenty of time. Okay, everyone. We'll solve this with a game. Whoever guesses which hand has the puck, they get the rink first. Hmm. <clears throat> you go first. Nice. <sighs> we can play once you guys are finished here. Uh-huh. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I guess they are pretty good, huh? Uh-huh. <gasps> Time's up! Oh, man. We were just getting to the good part. It's time to play hockey! <laughs> Be the best goal ever! Yeah. Oh, come on! You can't be serious! This whole thing just isn't working. Yeah, true. It's a big pond. There should be enough space for everyone. Okay, how about we share? Have seats? Oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Guys, watch it! Oh my! 
from our team, see? <sighs> this is not working. Poor Mr. Carradine cleared the pond for nothing. I just wish there was a way we could share the pond. Are you sure you don't want to play hockey? Mm-mm. You wouldn't be interested in figure skating with us, would you? Hmm? Huh? Mm-mm. <sighs> Grandpa, what should we do? You worked so hard cleaning it off. If only everyone could find a way to skate. Together. Hmm. Oh! Hey guys, look! Huh? I think I know what we can do! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You've invented some new kind of cool game. Our very own special kind of winter sport. Something like mountain sledding, hockey, and figure skating. <laughs> That's the spirit, buddy. We can always come up with creative solutions if we try. Can you, Grandpa, give it a go? <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. How sweet was that trick? Till he disappeared. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. I call dibs on the first round of this game. I'm down. Let's go. Hooray! New sport! sport. <laughs> <laughs> no solution like a snow solution. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Lizzie. Those guys are flying their kite over there. Well, I'm assembling a tandem. Huh? A bicycle for two. Could you hand me the steering wheel? Okay. Okay. Makar, that wheel is for a boat. Well, I think this one looks kind of cool. Hmm, interesting. But the bicycle was invented before, so we're just assembling it. Hmm. Invented, huh? But I came up with something more interesting. But you shouldn't do that. Just follow the drawing. Who says I have to? But this is the right way. These are the rules. I was only trying to help, honest. But you didn't help. You got in the way. Are you two fighting? Hurry up and be friends again. We're gonna fly our kite. Makar started it, so he should say sorry. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think we should do? I've got a plan. Hmm. Ah. Hello, Lizzie. I just composed a brand new poem. I was gonna recite it for everyone, but then I thought you'd probably do it better. Hmm. I'll give it a try. It's fun to spend time with your friends every day, for friends are so special and dear. <laughs> if I do say so, this idea is brilliant. Lizzie will recite Gray's friendship poem, Makar will hear it, and then he'll be Lizzie's friend again. Hello, Lizzie. I really need to say this to you. I didn't really mean. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and if your friend, perchance, is very busy, and you get in their way and cause a tizzy. Uh. <gasps> huh. I'll show her. Hmm. Now, I'm never going to say I'm sorry. Hmm. Wait, come back, Makar. It's not about you. <laughs> Makar, uh, could you help me? 
I need a group portrait for the exhibition. What do you say? <gasps> huh. Car will finish the portrait, and Lizzie and him will be next to each other. Aha! Then we'll see it and be good friends once more. We'll pose for the portrait, and the ones who aren't in it will use a photo. Okay? Well, I guess we could try it. Hmm. Huh? so mean to you before, but, oh, uh, whoa! <gasps> you, you ruined my face! How mean! Lizzie! <laughs> Makar, are you and Lizzie gonna be friends again now? Yeah, we've been trying to get you two to make up. With a poem. And a portrait. But that's not gonna work. We're the ones who have the fight. Hmm. And we're the ones who have to make up. Uh... Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Sure is some bicycle you've got there. Isn't it hard to pedal by yourself? No, Mr. Carrotton. It's not hard. Well, okay. But it isn't very fun. If I had a friend, maybe. Enough! It's time for me to make up with Makar! Huh? <gasps> now, I'll make up with Lizzie. Makar! Are those bees attacking? I'm coming! <sighs> What's the matter, Lizzie? Hop on quick! Lean on the pedals! But why? To get away from those mean bees! I saw you weaving your hands so I. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see any bees. Ah! You no, know, I was going to see you. <gasps> wow, I was just going to see you. Let's make, make up. up. <laughs> I kind of got in the way while you were building your bike. Sorry, Lizzie. Well, I think if bikes were invented a long time ago, there's always room for improvements, right? I don't think they're coming. We've got to launch it soon, or there won't be any more wind left. <sighs> Ooh. You can attach it to our bicycle, or should I say our tandem? Are you two friends again? You, you bet, bet we, we are. are. Hooray! <laughs> A spring miracle. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Do you feel it, Bo? <laughs> I guess it's wet and really cold. Springtime is here. The best time of the year. <gasps> oh! Hello! <gasps> My mommy and I were in the woods, and you know what we saw? A springtime miracle! A miracle? No way! We could use a spring miracle. Show us, Michael. Michael, is it a great big miracle? It's lots of tiny little miracles all put together to make one giant one. Look! Ooh. That's amazing. Cool. Yes, a miracle. They're called snowdrops, spring's messengers. Just look at them. 
They're so pretty. Yeah, and so white. The same color as snow, aren't they? Right, Bo. And flowers that can grow through the snow are a miracle. These blossoms are very rare. One shouldn't pick them. Huh? Michael, thank you for showing this beautiful miracle to us. My, we've been walking for a long time. Let's venture home. It truly is a miracle. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, well. Maybe we should share this miracle with Mom. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa. <laughs> Mom, we're home. <laughs> Here. <gasps> no, no, no. My little flower. My miracle. Did it die? What? You picked the snowdrops? Now they won't ever grow back. You should never have picked them, Bo. But snowdrops are the messengers of spring. And if none of them ever grow back, then spring might not ever come. It will. We just have to make sure nobody else picks them. <sighs> Bo! Kids, where are you going? Chasing miracles. <laughs> Dear me, this certainly is a pity. Who tore these snowdrops out? It was me. I did it. And now they won't ever, ever grow again. I'm gonna stand right here and guard the rest of them. I'm not leaving here and I won't move till springtime. Huh. If it ever comes again... Then you'll need some help. Stay right here. <sighs> I'll help you, Bo. There. Good. There's another. I'll count them. <sighs> There's one, two, three, four. <sighs> Boy, I wish I could go home and have lunch. I'm hungry. Go have a bite. You've been working so hard watching over these flowers. But you need to eat sometime, Bo. I wish I could go, but I can't go. Here, Bo. Have a bite. How will I watch my flowers at night? What do you think so? Will Mom let me bring my bed all the way here? Mm -hmm. There you are. I heard all about the big spring miracle. <laughs> so I decided to come out and see it for myself. Look, see? It's a whole bunch of miracles. Yes, aren't they lovely? But over here are the miracles I ruined. Bo, someone left these snowdrop bulbs in our yard. Do you know where they came from? Huh? If you bury them in the soil, we'll have lots of flowers when the spring comes. Hooray! Hooray! Spring, spring is, is coming! There you go, darling. <laughs> you see, Bo? <laughs> There's no need to be sad after all. Everything can be fixed. You stay right here and make sure no one picks any more flowers. Huh? Spring came after all, and next spring, we'll all have even more miracles. <laughs> Too many raisins. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I just love it when Village Fair comes around. Everyone makes all these yummy treats and we get to eat. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna make a mushroom pie today. What are you guys gonna make? <gasps> oh! Dad! Oh. What kind of treat are we making for the Village Fair? 
What do we have in here? Aha! Hup. Yeah! My specialty is a big raisin muffin. My granny used to make them for me many years ago. Ha. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get to baking already. Ah. White flour. <laughs> cup of milk. Two large eggs. <laughs> Ooh. Well, what do you know? We're out of raisins. So no muffin. We can't just stop in the middle. No, we're going to finish our muffins. We got this. We will ask to borrow some raisins. Uh, oh. Hmm. Hmm. Good morning, Ouch. Lizzie. Could you lend us some raisins for our raisin muffins? Pretty please. Uh, raisins? Uh-huh. Hmm. They're on the bottom shelf, Lizzie. Oh! Some walnuts? Some cinnamon? Oh! Ooh! Our missing mixer part! And there! Whoa! Lizzie, we'll help you out, okay? Let us help! Eh! <gasps> Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Hooray! It's all fixed! <laughs> <laughs> now my mom can make something extra special for the fair! Thanks for your help! Sure thing, Lizzie! Bye! <laughs> oh, Zoe! We forgot about the raisins we were gonna borrow! Oh, yeah! Well, never mind. Maybe we can go ask Gray. I mean, it's too late to go back now. Good morning, Ms. Wolf. Good morning. Gray, watch that dough until I get back, please. Uh-huh. So, Gray, we were wondering if we could borrow some raisins. Gotcha. Whoa, Gray, look. <gasps> oh! No, no, no! Fear not. We'll dough. I mean, we'll show that dough who's the boss here. Phew! Now I can make all kinds of pies with my mom. Thanks, you guys. Don't mention it. <laughs> so, we forgot all about the raisins again. Uh. Nick lives over there. Let's ask him. There we go. Hey there, Nick. Zoe and I were wondering if you could lend us some raisins for some muffins we're making. Hi there. Sure I can. Hmm. Oh, are you making sugar cookies for the fair? Uh-huh. But my icing's not coming out very good at all. <gasps> we, we can, can help, help you out, out Nick. Nick. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <gasps> See? It's easy when you get the hang of it. Hey, thanks, you guys. Think nothing of it, my friend. We are more than happy to lend a hand. <laughs> we'll see you later at the fair, Nick. Da -dee -da -dee. <laughs> wow, smushing that dough was fun. So was fixing Lizzie's mixer, right? And Nick's cookie frosting was so yummy. Well, kids, did you bring the raisins? Oh, no! We helped all of our friends out, but now we can't make our muffins. No raisin muffins for the fair. Hmm. Ah, who needs raisins anyhow? We'll make a new recipe. We'll use dried cranberries. This will be a whole new muffin experience. Whoa. I was going to suggest it to you earlier. But you both ran out so quickly. Oh, boy. A whole new recipe. Huh? You forgot your raisins. I got your raisins. Did somebody ask for raisins? Whoa, that's Hooray! awesome. Hooray! Thanks, everyone. A real, true friend will never leave you without raisins. I have a feeling this might be too many raisins for our muffin recipe. Oh. <laughs> So, what's this called? A raisin pie. Have some. And that? 
We call it raisin punch. Hey, what's best? Yummy raisin jam. <laughs> Raisiny. This is a real raisin party. And it's, it's also, also a French. <laughs> Gray's new friends. Good morning. Ugh. Well, good morning, kids. Look at all those letters. Whoa, who sent you all that mail? All my new friends. Huh? I had no idea it was even possible to have that many friends. They published Gray's poetry in a magazine. So cool. Congratulations. Thanks, you guys. Now I get letters from readers all over the world. But I have to answer all of them before the post office closes. Well, we came to invite you to Lizzie's house. We're gonna go test out her new invention. <gasps> <sighs> I don't think so. Huh? Hmm? But I could go if I brought the letters along, too. Oh, oh, got it. Ha ha. Ha Huh? <clears throat> hey, Gray, may I have that blanket? Uh huh. Hmm. Gray, it's your turn. <laughs> oh. Really? Why'd you throw the blanket on us? Oh, I'm sorry, but I was reading. Here you go. Be careful, sweetie. <laughs> the official game of handball. It's about to begin. Like soccer, but with your hands. Creep up like a fly on the wall. <laughs> they spin and they swirl just like a <gasps> ball. <laughs> yeah, go! Gray, come on. We're losing here. Yeah, yeah, but just give me a minute. Because of that goal, <sighs> I didn't get to finish composing my note. Are you saying that these notes are more important than our game? Oh, in this one, my friend sent me his dad's recipe for pine cone jam. But what kind of jam recipe can I send them back? Hmm? Dandelion! I gotta go get it for my mom. Uh, how's our team gonna play without a goalie? I guess the ref has to call it. That means Lizzie, oh. Bo, <laughs> and Nick won. Uh, aww. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Next month, the weather here will be so cold. Gray, don't you want to swim with us? Not right now. My friends are waiting for me. Well, as long as those friends aren't kept waiting. <gasps> <laughs> oh no, my letters. Aww. I shouldn't have gotten distracted by your games. Uh, what? Well, I for one think you're distracted by these letters. Yeah, by all of those new friends. I don't have any new friends anymore. And my old friends don't get me at all. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> when are you going to mail out your letters, sweetheart? Never, I guess. They're soaking wet. <gasps> and I was trying so hard to be loyal to my new friends that I hurt my old ones. Oh, but sweetheart, it's not too late to make up with them. Oh, speaking of old friends. 
Okay, Gray. We picked up every single letter. Do you want us to help you with them? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ha. Ah. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad you're able to send the letters to your new friends, and just in time. Thank you, Bo. But since I wrote to them all about you guys, I bet they're going to be your new friends, too. Oh, wow! Thanks, old friend. I can't wait to write all of them. What? More writing? <laughs> <laughs> Brick or fake? <sighs> Look, I've got 15. Wow. And I filled up half a basket. Hmm. <laughs> 20. You're the clear winner then, Nick. Although... Michael, how many apples have you got? Oh, well... <laughs> well, just let me count. Ow! I think I sprained my arm, you guys. <gasps> oh. Michael, how could that happen? You know, I must have tried a little too hard. <laughs> It's gonna be just fine. But first, you need to rest it. Okay, kids, let's call it a day for the apple picking. <laughs> 28, 29, 30. Here I come. Hmm. <laughs> Michael, that means you're it. <sighs> <sighs> I don't want to be it. Oh. Ow! My poor eye! <gasps> Are you okay, Michael? A huge fly flew in my eye the size of an elephant! <laughs> I've never seen a fly that size. Show me! Hmm. I don't see an elephant, though. I don't see a fly. Well, I see them. And they won't stop flashing in front of my eye. All that flashing can't be good for you, Michael. You need to rest your eye for a while, Boo. Oh, wow, Michael. You look like a pirate. Hey, we should go sailing. Yo ho ho! Let's go, Bo! I think our pirate needs a bed a lot more than he needs a boat. Oh, all right. We'll go build a ship in the meantime. And name it after you, mate. Huh? Yay! the raspberries first, and then we'll eat. I promise. <sighs> uh. <laughs> <sighs> mm. oh, I twisted my ankle! Huh? Uh. Mm. Huh. That's pretty strange. It's the third time today that you mysteriously hurt yourself. I guess I've been a little clumsy. Who knows why? Come on, let's dive in! <laughs> I wish you could come with us, Michael. Ready 
Ready for a bicycle race, you guys? Yeah! Michael, I don't know if you should be racing right now. Come on, Mom. I'll be fine. Don't worry. We'll race again after you heal up. Yeah! Maybe next week. But I can go. My ankle's really not that bad. Sorry, sweetie, but you really do need to rest. Uh, that means you're going to miss the basketball match, too. And that means our team is going to play without its captain. Stop! Wait! Oh. The truth is, I didn't really hurt my ankle or my arm or my eye. It just felt so good when you guys were taking care of me. And I got a little carried away. Then you were faking it the whole time? We were really worried about you being hurt. You'll never know how much. Oh, I didn't mean for you guys to worry. I'm really sorry. Plus, it was so hard to miss out on all those games you played. Can I play with you guys now, huh? <laughs> of course you can, Michael. We really missed you on the pirate ship. And in the pond. And what's basketball without a captain? No fun. Hooray! No more injuries for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I for one am just happy you're all right. Hey, just don't scare us like that again. Sound good? It won't happen again. Bear's honor. <gasps> I'm all good. It's time to play. Soccer math. <laughs> One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, oh, uh, twenty-five. Look, it's the neighborhood's best soccer player. About time you got here. I've been waiting all day to play. We had a bunch of homework today. A whole backpack of it. And have you finished your homework today already, Theo? Pretty much. I only have a little bit of math left to work on. But I just don't want to do it. How's it even useful anyway? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Whoa. Whoa! Soccer's way better than math. <laughs> okay, it's game time. Whoa. Is it soccer time? Can we play with you guys? Sure, come join our team. Zoe and Theo can be on their own team. <gasps> okay! Uh, I'm not so sure. <sighs> So, over to you. Yeah. Oh dear. Hmm. Pass to me. Hmm? Goal! Hmm? It appears the green team has scored one goal. Hooray! <laughs> well, let's keep going, you guys. Heads up, Zo. Yeah. Whoa. Theo, come here! On my way. Hurry! Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hooray! Go green team! Woohoo! Hmm. So, how come they've scored a whole lot and not us? Because there's so many more of them. Just count them. Hmm. I count at school already. I don't want to count for fun. Listen, Theo. Now their team has ah! one, two, <laughs> three, four, five. No, Yay! four. Uh, they have four players, and we only have two. Well, that isn't fair. Looks like we should have a more equal number of players, like three, maybe. Yes, you're right. Oh, hey, Snowy. You want to help be our goalie for Team Orange? Okay, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Hooray! Uh. 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 Hooray! Go, go Orange! Go, go team. team! Winning is our dream! It's a bit more fun now with three against three. <laughs> uh. 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 
Can't use your hands. Those are the rules. I forgot. It's time for a penalty kick. Penalty kicks are at 11 meters. A meter is maybe about, like, so far. Hmm? Uh, no, that far. Oh? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Hmm. I think that's fine. Good players should be able to kick from any spot they want. Eleven. Okay. Hey! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Good players should really know how to kick from eleven meters. It's all good. We'll be fine, though. Heads up, here's the ball. <laughs> awesome, Zoe. That one is as good as ours. <laughs> Guess it's not as good as ours. But I don't see how. We scored so many goals today. The orange team scored four points. They scored five. You see? <sighs> I don't want to count. But you have to count sometimes, even in soccer. It looks like they have five, we have four. So if we want to tie, we need... Oh, just one more. Heads up! <laughs> and the game is a tie. Hooray! Yay! That was so much fun. Great game, you guys. Turns out counting isn't completely useless, long as you're counting goals. Oh. Or maybe counting pies. Who wants a snack? Oh, who gets this very last one? Whoever could use the energy to do their math homework. That'd be me. Where are my textbooks again? <laughs> How's it going? What's new at school today? Hmm. Well, the field hockey tournament is coming up next week, but we can't play in it. <sighs> Why can't you play? Because the rules say there have to be... Four players on the team. And see, there's only three of us. Ha <sighs> <sighs> ha! I don't think you read the whole thing. Look, it says there that students and their family members are allowed to play. Huh? huh? That means that Bo can be our fourth player. What do you say, bro? <gasps> I say awesome! Hooray! Oh, but which one of us is going to be the captain? Oh, Zoe, will you be the captain? You love hockey. You do, Zoe. Pretty please. Captain Zoe! Captain Zoe! How can I say no after that chant? Hooray! <laughs> Lesson number one. You've got to move the ball like this. Hop. It's a pretty simple spiral maneuver. Whoa. Uh, that's what you consider simple? You make it look super easy, Zoe. I'm the captain. Uh, and the captain really should be an ace with the ball. Uh, we should probably practice actually playing the game. Sure, but whose team can we play, Zoe? Maybe we can play, uh... I've got it! Uh... <laughs> Welcome to the field, the official parents' team! So, kids, you ready to play some hockey? Yeah! 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 So, Theo, you be the goalie, 
Me and Bo are on offense, and Kathy, you be defense. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, the ball was coming right at me. Kathy, you're the defense. That means you have to stop the ball at any cost. <laughs> hey, get back in there. A goalie's job is to stand in the goal. Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> Bo, you hardly moved to help me. That's what offense means. Follow my lead. <laughs> Theo, you're not supposed to be out here. <sighs> oh. <Yeah. Huh. laughs> nice shot, Bo. Stop! I saw that. You can't just let us win. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're supposed to protect the goal. What were you doing? I just wanted to help with the ball. If you want to help, then don't leave the goal. Don't this, don't that. Why did we pick you to be the captain anyway? <gasps> Oops. Yeah, there's no way we're going to play in that tournament now. <sighs> You look a little down, Zo. My team doesn't believe in winning, like at all. What makes you say that, Zo? I've been trying to teach them how to play better all day long, but... But? But I guess I was just focusing on what they did wrong. And maybe forgot about things like fun and teamwork? Of course! Fun and teamwork! Thanks a lot, Dad! <laughs> Hey, you guys, you guys, come check this out. <laughs> Theo, you kept the oranges from rolling away. <gasps> You're on defense. Kathy, you can really hit that ball. You're on offense. Bo, you caught them all. So the goal is yours. All oh, right. Uh, great job, Theo. <laughs> Kathy, all yours. You go. And you guys are the best team ever. I think our team needs its own captain. Huh? Why didn't you ask me in the first place? Let's go, team parents! <laughs> <laughs>